Now, sometimes you may be given to solve for a particular integral, particular interval in degrees. So we're gonna solve this question now. We need to solve 2x plus 30 degrees equal one. And we wanna give our answers in degrees. We're giving our answers in degrees. So let's go ahead and tackle the first question. Tan 2x plus 30 degrees equal one. So tackling that question, we're giving our answers in degrees. Tan 2x plus 30 degrees is equal to one. So first and foremost, what we need to do is draw our circle. Draw our circle and say, where is tan positive? Tan is positive in the first and the third quadrant. So first thing you look at this value right here and find tan inverse of one. So we find tan inverse of one and tan inverse of one is equal to pi by four. Tan inverse of one is equal to pi by four. Now that tan inverse of one is equal to pi by four. Now this is the angle in the first quadrant. Now we need to find our angle in the first and the third quadrant. So now two X plus 30. Oh, by the way, they wanted it in degrees. So my apologies, we should write 45 degrees. We want the answer in degrees. So that means that straight away, and we're saying that 2x plus 30, 2x plus 30 is equal to, 2x plus 30 is equal to 45 degrees. And so simplifying this one, you get 2x equal to subtract 30 from both sides, which is 15 degrees. So X equals 7.5 degrees. That's one answer. X equal 7.5 degrees. Now, there's another answer now for the, sec for the third quadrant. For the third quadrant, you'd say 2X plus 30 is equal to the corresponding angle in the third quadrant which is 180 plus 45, 180 plus 45. That's for the third quadrant. So what we're gonna end up get is 2X is equal to, simplifying everything, 180 plus 45 is 225. 225 minus 30 is 195. And then we divide both sides by two, and so x equal, that looks like 97.5 degrees. 97.5 degrees. So 7.5 degrees and 97.5 degrees. All you need to do now, you can always verify it. Check it in a calculator, the tan of two times 7.5 plus 30, and you're gonna get one. Yeah, man, so good. So you can verify it. So that's the first one, 7.5 and 97.5 degrees. So you can write it down. So that's the first one, part A. Part A was X equal 7.5 or 97.5 degrees. That's for part A. Now let's look at part B. Part B says to solve the sine of 2x minus 15 equals zero. Let's quickly go to part B. The sine of 2x minus 15 equals zero. First thing we're going to do is draw our circle again. We draw our circle and put down where sine is positive. Now sine is positive in the first and the second quadrant. And then we take sine inverse of zero. Sine inverse of zero is just going to be zero. Sine inverse of zero 
is just zero. Since sine inverse of zero is zero, what does that do for us? And that means that the angle in this second quadrant is 180 minus zero, which is just 180. So that means that 2x minus 15 is equal to zero or 2x minus 15 is equal to 180. And so what we get is 2x is equal to 15. We divide two by two, x equal 7.5. Right here now, we're gonna get 2x equal 195. Then when we divide by two, we're getting x equal, that look like 97.5 degrees. So we pretty much got the same answers for part A and part B. So let's write that down. So for part B, we got that x is the same answers. Part B, x equal 7.5 or 97.5 degrees. All right, let's look at part C. Part C says to solve the cos of 3x minus 24 equals 0 0.733. The cos of 3x minus 24 is equal to 0 0.333. Let's do that. Let's do that right here. So the cos of 3x minus 24, and that is equal to 0 0.733. Now to do this, again, we're gonna have to draw our circle. Draw your circle and tick where cos is positive. Cos is positive in your first quadrant and your fourth quadrant. So first thing you're gonna do is find cos inverse of this number right here, cos inverse, of 0 0.733, cos inverse of 0 0.733, and make sure your calculator is in degrees. So the cos inverse of 0 0.733, that is 42.8 degrees. Well, actually it's 42.9. So this will get 42.9 degrees. And so what that means is then, that means that 3x minus 24 equal 42.9, or that means that 3x minus 24 equal 360 minus 42.9, because that's the angle in the four quadrant. So continuing with these, on this side, we're getting 3x is equal to, add 24 to both sides, you get 3x equals 66.9. Then we divide through by three. So this side giving us x equal 66.9 divided by three, x equals 22.3 degrees. Now on this side right here, what we're getting is 3x equal, now 360 minus 42.9, plus 24 is 341.1 degrees. And so what we're getting then is we divide through by three. So X equal 341.1 divided by three, which is 113.7 degrees. So those are our two possible values for X 22.3 or 113.7. Nice, 22.3 or 113.7, that is it. So part C, X equal, what did we get? 22.3 or 113.7 degrees. Those are the possible values for part C. Let's look at part D. Part D says to find the sine of a half x plus 18 equals 0 0.572. Sine of a half x plus 18 equals. So we wanna find the sine of a half x 
I can write 0 0.5x, a half x plus 18, and that is equal to 0 0.572. So first thing you do again is draw your circle to identify where sine is positive. Sine is positive in your first and your second quadrant. And so that means that all we have to do is find sine inverse of 0 0.572. Sine inverse of 0 0.572. So if we find sine inverse of 0 0.572, sine inverse of 0 0.572, what we're gonna get is 34.9 degrees. What we get is 34.9 degrees. So we get 34.9 degrees. After we get 34.9 degrees, that's your angle in the first quadrant. Your angle in the second quadrant is 180 minus this. So your angle in the second quadrant is 180 minus your 34.9 degrees. 180 minus 34.9 degrees. So that means that your half x plus 18 is equal to 34.9 degrees or your half x plus 18 is equal to angle in the second quadrant, which is 180 minus 34. 180 minus 34.9, which is 145.1. So what we're getting is a half x is equal to 34.9 plus 18, which is 52.9 degrees. And then we just multiply through by two to get x equal times that by two, we get 105.8 degrees. Over here, what we're getting is a half x is equal to subtract 18 from both sides. Okay, there was a slight error right here. We were supposed to subtract 18. My apologies, 34.9 minus 18, that's 16.9 and then times that by two. That's 33.8. My apologies there. And here now we get 145.1 minus 18 is 127.1. Then we times it by two, and we get 254. So we get X is 254.2. But this one is not valid. This one is not valid. This one is not valid. This one is not valid because it's bigger than 180 degrees. The question told us X must be between zero and 180. And so looking at the question, part C, part D is just 33.8 degrees. Part D, X equal. 33.8 degrees, that is that, nice. Let's look at the next part now. The next question says, find the tan, find x for the tan of three x plus 60 equal negative 1.9. So let's go ahead and do this question. All right, so this is what we're doing now. So first you draw your circle again. Look where tan is negative. We're gonna move a little bit quicker. Look where tan is negative. Tan is negative in the second and the fourth quadrant. So all you need to do is find tan inverse of your value given, not the minus and just the tan inverse of 1.9. Find tan inverse of 1.9 then see what you get. Tan inverse of 1.9 is 62.2 degrees. And so your angle in the second quadrant is 180 minus, so your angle in the second quadrant is 180 minus 62.2. So 
This is it. And your angle in the fourth quadrant is 360 minus your 62.2. 360 minus 62.2. So what we end up getting now is, that means that 3x plus 60 is equal to, in the second quadrant, 180 minus 62.2 is 117.8. So all we need to do is make x the subject here to say 3x equal 117.8 minus 60 is 57.8. We divide through by three, so x equal, that's 19.3 degrees. Or for the fourth quadrant, we're getting three x plus 60, and that is equal to 360 minus 62.2, which is 297.8. Then we subtract 60 from both sides to get three x equal minus 60, you get 237.8. Then you divide both sides by three to get x equal 237.8 divided by three, x equals 79.3 degrees. All right, so 19.3 or 79.3. And you can check it out. The tan of three times that, which is tan of 57.8 plus 60, I get my negative 1.9. So you can put x in here Put x in here and you should get back negative 1.9. So 19.3 and we get 19.3 and 79.3. 19.3 and 79.3. That's E. So part E, x equal 19.3 or 79.3 degrees. Let's look at the last one now. The last one is with costs. Let's just do part F right here. So for part F, all we have to do is find cos inverse, take cos inverse of 0 0.64. When you take cos inverse of 0 0.64, you get cos inverse 0 0.64 you get 50.2 degrees. You get 50.2 degrees. Then let's draw our circle. Join our circle, the one where cos is negative. Cos is negative here so, and here so. So if the angle in the first quadrant is 50.2 degrees, then the angle in the second quadrant is 180 minus 50.2. 180 minus 50.2, which is 129.8. And then the angle in the third quadrant right here is 180 plus 50.2, which is 230.2 degrees. So continuing now, what we're gonna be getting is, what we're gonna be getting is, continuing, we're getting then that 2x minus 38 is equal to 129.8, or we're getting 2x minus 38 equal to 230.2. And so what we get is 2x equal 129.8 plus 38, and so what we're getting is 2x is equal to 129.8 plus 38. So we get 2x is 167.8. Then we divide by 2 to get x equal. That's 83.9 degrees. That's one possible answer. Or over here we have 2x minus 2x would be equal to the 230 plus the 38, 230.2 plus 38, which is 268.2. Then we divide by two to get x is 134.1. So those are the two possible answers for part F. 
x is 83.9 or 134.1 degrees. So f, we can write x is equal to 83.9 degrees or x is equal to 134.1 degrees. That's it. That's how you find the angle in whatever quadrant it is. Nice.